Greetings from Bermuda, this is BDA Limey and welcome to Cardcraft, a deck building roguelike where you craft cards and battle your opponent on a grid. And in the menus, you can listen to some smooth jazz. Let's see what it's like. Tutorial. How to play. Play your first card on the down arrow. When a card is played, it will fight adjacent cards. Okay. Uh, on the down arrow. There. Uh, numbers facing each other determine the fight. Your number was higher, so you captured the enemy card. So it flipped from red to blue. The enemy captured your card from the bottom. The enemy four beats your one. Symbols have special properties. The sword symbol defeats all numbers. Use it to capture from the bottom. Okay. Well done, your sword defeats the nine. Swords are strong, but not unstoppable. Magic symbol defeats any rank when attacking. The enemy magic beats your sword. Okay. However, magic cannot defend. Take advantage of the exposed magic symbol to capture the enemy card. Okay. Capture it with a one. Well done, your one beat the enemy magic. Now let's take a look at the shield symbol. Shield cannot capture or be captured. Notice how the enemy magic fails to defeat your shield. Bow defeats all ranks at range two and three. Capture the enemy card from a distance. Uh, two and three, okay, so yeah, so that captures that one. Okay, your bow beats the enemy seven, all right. Uh, the bow cannot capture or defend at range one. The enemy one beats your bow. Capturing two or more cards with a single move starts a combo. When you land a combo, the captured cards also attack. Play in the open space to take three cards with a combo. Okay, so the seven captures the four. The, uh, the four captures the one, and then the card to the left of me captures the one above it. Nice. Because you captured two cards, these cards also attack. Your six beats the enemy five. Be on the lookout for enemy combos. The enemy bow captures two cards on the far left column. This sets off a combo, also capturing an additional card. Oh my god, okay. Let's set up for a large combo. Capture the enemy card. So the five beats the three. Not every capture is a good idea. You will need to think several moves ahead. The enemy used the big combo to capture most of the board. The situation looks bad, but you still have a move to make. Let's take a look at your hero and their power. Hero power. Your hero power can be used once per turn. Use your hero power to turn shields into swords. Then play your sword card for a huge combo. Okay. So hero power. Uh, okay, and then you select the card, right. Then you drag it in there. So swords beat everything. Captures the three cards around us. Uh, does the nine to our left beat the swords below? I guess it doesn't. It does. Oh, but the, the magic here beat this, okay. Well done, you reclaim most of the board. The enemy only has one move to capture. The enemy played a strong move, but they left themselves open for a counter attack. The game ends when all 16 cards have been played. Play your final card for a decisive victory. Well done, there are many different cards, heroes and strategies. Experiment, build and have fun. Okay, God, this feels like it's gonna do my head in. Uh, main menu, or exit tutorial, exit tutorial. Okay, so we have now unlocked campaign mode and practice mode. Well, let's jump straight into the campaign. Okay, your journey awaits. Pursuit of glory and fame have brought you to Sunforge Island. Here, the World Craft Tournament awaits. You are not the only hero of this story. Do you have what it takes? 
choose our hero. Uh, sword slash, turn all symbols on a card to sword. Templar's blade, turn all swords on a card to a random number. Okay. Uh, battle ready. Give all numbers on a card plus one. Give the lowest number on a card plus four. And snipe, turn all symbols on a card to bow. Turn all bows on a card to a random number. Okay, well, let's just stick with the first hero. Bontu Chi, the Wandering Blade, and see how he gets on. Greetings, Greetings Fatty, how are you doing? Choose a path. Choose your path carefully. There is no turning back. When you lose a match, you lose some of your supplies. If your supplies run out, your adventure is over. This is the new balloons update. That's right. Yeah, have you not seen it yet? <laughs> um, okay, how big is this map? Uh, I guess it goes to here. Right. These two different boss fights, I guess. We have no information about what they might be. Uh, we don't know what any of these nodes are, so let's go that way. All right, my God, what is the best way to play this? I guess you want to put low numbers on the inside. Uh, so something like the two and the zero down here, probably down here would be good. I said his cards are not super good either. Uh, let's just do that. Put you there. Okay, you captured me with a two. Not surprising. Uh, but if I captured that, then I could get that back as well. I don't know what the X and the O means. So we'd only need a two. We would then be exposed on the right hand side and above. Uh, so something like that would be actually pretty good, I think. So whether it's good to play a card like that early. Why did he not capture him? Oh, because we've got to capture two or more cards to set off a combo. Shoot, okay, forgot about that. All right. Well, at least he didn't capture me. Um, what's he got? Five is fairly high. We, yeah, I guess we don't want the shield on the inside here. Just do that. We only capture one, which is good because we don't want him setting off combos. I guess we want to set him up so that we can maybe capture two of his. Ah, uh, but we can't do that here. God, difficult to think far enough ahead. Um, There's five down here as well. Why don't we play that there? That captures that, and then we're defended on that side. Uh, except now he's captured that, and then we can't capture two in one go. So there's no way of capturing this from this side. So the only way we can recapture it is by capturing this. Hey, it's in the specs. How are you doing? Uh, I am just learning myself. So basically we're playing cards on a grid. Uh, I think there was a version of this game, like a simpler version of this game in one of the Final Fantasy games, apparently. Was it called Triple Something? Um, but we are basically taking it to, in turns to play cards on a grid and the object of the game is to have as many cards of our colour by the end of the... Uh, once the grid is full. Uh, have more cards our colour than the opponent has in his colour. And when we place a card down, the, uh, the adjacent cards kind of fight and we can capture an adjacent card 
of our opponent's color if the number that matches up to it is bigger. Um, so it seems like basically fairly simple rules, but quite complex, obviously, in where you kind of can play stuff. Um, and if we can capture two or more cards in one go, we can set off a chain reaction where the captured cards will trigger as if we had just played them and potentially capture other cards themselves, which gives us a way to capture this back, for example. Um, we play something with a low number down here. And then if he ends up capturing this, have we something that can beat a two above and a three on the right? Uh, actually, no, we don't. Would only be this, uh, but we could do this. We're gonna do this, even though this bow doesn't get us anything. Because I'm hoping he will capture that and then I can play this card in there, capture both of them, and then we'll get a chain reaction going. stop him capturing two of ours. So if we put that there, that captures that back. Oh god, yeah! No, you're not supposed to play there. Oh, that's a flaw, a fatal flaw in our plan. Ah, now he's got a shield here, so we can't capture this card from this side. Ah, uh, oh dear. I think we're about to lose this game. We can see his cards though, so we I mean we know what he's got. We played this here now, we capture the one below at least. We have a four to the right, a two above. That's easily captured from above. And he could play that there and capture both of them. Uh, and then he would capture that as well. And that would be really bad. So we don't want that. The music in this game is so chill. It seems, I don't know, so not appropriate to the game, but I don't know what kind of music you would expect to be appropriate to this kind of game. Some kind of dramatic fantasy style music. But it's just chill jazz. Very nice. Anyway. Um, what can we do? What can we do? Yeah, it's, it, it's a game that seems simple rules, but complex. Uh, which makes it potentially interesting. Um, uh, don't know how we do this. Can we force him to capture us? If we play this here, well, he can't capture it. But then we don't capture anything of his either. I don't know. Let's go there. Eh. Uh, so we capture one below. Force him up in the corner. And then I assume he's gonna, is he gonna have more than us? I think we'd have the same number of cards, actually. Maybe that's not a bad thing. Draw. <laughs> I'll take a draw. Free from darkness, a swamp beast with eyes on the end of elongated tentacles skirmishes through the marsh. Finally, some sunlight encroaches on your vision as you see a clearing through the darkness of the Swamp of Solitude. Check the marsh, follow the creature. Ah, uh, check the marsh. Money, okay. Uh, what is this? Let's go find out. Forge, how to upgrade cards. Drag and drop gems from the forge onto your deck to upgrade a card. Numbers will be added together. Symbols will replace any previous value. Uh, 
okay, so this is a gem. So basically what this is saying is we will give us a sword symbol at the top of one of our cards and it will leave the other sides untouched. So if we put that on this, that seems pretty good because uh, that is the weakest card up at the top. Okay, onwards. So uh, the they're kind of like trumps. So the swords will be any number. The magic will be swords and any number. However, if you attack magic, it, it can't defend. So anything will beat magic. Uh, and the shield can't be beaten by anything. The bow will capture all cards that are two or three spaces away. Uh, however, it can be captured by anything that is immediately adjacent to it. All right. Uh, I'm seeing some nines. I don't like that. God, this seems like a <laughs> this seems like a terrible game for me to play. Oh, we got oh, we got abilities as well. Actually, I need to remember that. <gasps> Could have used those last turn probably. I don't know what the number three means, whether that's the number of times we can use it this run, or whether that's a cooldown, number of games between usages, or moves between usage. Who knows? We'll have to find out. So supplies, when you lose a match, just lose supplies. Once you, these are gone, your adventure is over. Gold is used to buy our cards, upgrades, and potions, earned from winning matches. Shards unlock heroes, persist between runs, and at the end of a run. Potions. Uh, so we actually have a potion. Uh, drag and drop a potion onto any card to alter that card for the match. Okay, so that will turn the left hand side into a sword, which could be pretty good. Progress how many nodes you've traveled this run, how much time has passed, uh, and who we are fighting. But yeah, this is like analysis paralysis nightmare. Basically, let's put you here. Get your weak things on the side. Um, I think I would... If I go here... It's something that's strong on the left. However, I don't think... All his right hand, this is his strongest right hand side. It's a four. I can't do better. Unless I play that, no, that won't capture that. So these are not the same cards that we had last time, because are they? Maybe they are. Say, is our deck bigger than what we've actually draw for each match? Maybe it's not. Um, God. Well, the only way we can capture this... I actually want to kind of... I want to try and bait him here anyway. And then I could use... If I put another card here and bait him to capture it, I could then put my archer up here, which would capture both of them, which should trigger that to capture that then. Let's see if we can get that to work. So I only need to beat a two. Uh, yes, let's use that. Oh, interesting. Okay. You declined to capture me. Uh, but you did do that, so I could, I could put that up there, capture both of those. Do I want to do that? It's putting the armored side on this side. But then he's going to, he's going to capture it anyway, probably. But yeah, because this captures cards at ranges three and four. Oh my god, okay, so this is where combos make it an absolute nightmare. So the archer captured these uh, cards at range 2 and 3, automatic capture. But then he went here, 
uh, and capture this and this one. So when you capture two cards in a turn, it's as if he played them. So this immediately triggers. Uh, and why did that capture that? Why did that capture that? That's a zero, that's a five. Not sure. Cheated, I think, is the only logical explanation. Um, mm. God, so hard to think ahead. These cards are really weak on, like, all of these three cards are weak on three sides, and they're only strong on one side. So he's weak on the right and on the bottom. Even this card is weak on the right and the bottom. I just need to... Yeah, that means... Oh god, what the heck does that mean? I don't know. Let's capture this with something we can't. Do I have anything on the right? Just drop him in the corner. I don't know if that's a waste. I captured two cards in one go and I can't. So that seems reasonable. Let me capture the one. <laughs> yeah, that's a, yeah, he's guaranteed he can't take it back, but it's also wasting the, the sword symbol there. So yeah, I don't know. Ah, but okay, but now we can drop this in here. And we'll capture that, and we'll capture this. And so that will trigger a chain reaction and will capture a ton of stuff. Nice. And you can't capture me because you're weak on multiple sides. Okay, your nine is strong. Uh, but that's it. So I'm just going to go... I can't capture him anyway, so... Although if I go there, you can't capture me. We win. Nice. Okay. Uh, I guess the thing with coming this way was it's all fights and we're missing out on these two things. That's fine. We're committed now. That well, has to be fine. We're committed now. Okay, so some weak cards like that. I kind of want to force him to go first. I need to remember I've got these as well. Um, um, well, I'm going to start with that again. And if I play here, if he wants to capture it, if I can force him to go there or there, I may have a chance of capturing two in one go. So what would 
be a good card there that will f that he won't be able to take it from above. So I need to strong on top. So maybe that. What's his bottom one? He's got a six on the bottom, so he can't take that from above. Let's try this. Oh, okay. No one being like that. He's supposed to go for my bait. Hmm. Did not go for my bait. Well, we could play this underneath. That's pretty strong below and to the right. Oh, but he could still beat it with that, unfortunately. Kind of want to wait till he's played that card. Uh, can I bait him again? If I go here... something what if I place that there then it guarantees he can't take both of my cards however I can't take two of his either yes I can potentially uh, five and a two that does the trick nice So now I am kind of exposed as well. The only card he can attack from below is this one with that and he can't beat that. there because then the arch is protected on this side already. Uh, I kind of want him to play in there I guess. Play there, we'll play there, don't play there. So I'm gonna put that. Mm, that's a strong capture card there. I'm already ahead. Let's just place that there. Uh, ah, yeah, actually, I can't capture two. I can't even capture one card. At least if I put that there, he can't capture me above either and we win again. Nice. Sand to the beach. The sand on this beach looked like flakes of golden dust under the sun. The dune worms covered a blade halfway buried, halfway alive. The scabbard was of dwarvish make. Its sheer beauty of its make caused you to pause. Check the scabbard or train with the sword. Discount sword card. Ah, uh, train with the sword. How to buy cards. Drag drop cards from the shop onto your deck to buy. Permanently replaces the old card in your deck. Okay, that answers that question. And the monsters look like they have the same... Uh, are they all the same? They don't have one of those. He certainly has the same symbols around that this guy does. You seem quite good. 
capturing anyway, not so good for defending, I guess. This is probably our weakest card. 562, we've got 1025. Let's buy you, put you instead of the wolf dog. And let's save the rest of our money. Okay, well, we got stronger cards. Need to remember these. Just use him as a defensive card in the corner. Almost like it's forcing him to go first. But if he plays there, you can use that to capture and then block. Uh, or we do, we do that, let's do that. Put our weak side in there, where well, you can still capture. I'm gonna play a card here that's weak on the bottom. No, because then he'll capture it from the bottom. But if he captures it from the bottom, he would open himself up here. And this is a strong card to go here. So let's do that. Let's try and bait him again. Nice. Okay, good. So now we can do that. That will capture two and we'll reclaim that back. doesn't the same do the same to us so I guess we play up here because this card can't be captured uh, or it can't be captured at the same time as any card that we put here five on the bottom uh, that would beat it that would beat it that's weak on that side so yeah let's do that Fortunately, now we can't capture him. What I feel like I want is a card with a bow symbol on the right or the left. So we could do something like capture those with that. Except the bow rank doesn't capture shields. Interesting. Okay, so even if we did have a bow on the right here, we wouldn't capture this. this can you again capture two of us no you could not what's your strongest card five on the bottom that's the only one that could safely go here let's do it good you didn't even capture that Play this above it, we capture it, we're safe on the right. Uh, he could capture us from above with this. Uh, maybe he... maybe he would. But if we put this archer up here to capture that, he tries to capture us with... anything? Can't attack or defend at range one, so even a zero on top, I think, would capture the archer if we put the archer here. And he played that there. So then he could do a zero on top and he could have a five on the bottom and a five here and a five here. We could not do anything about well, we could still capture the bottom one, I guess. And maybe that's fine. Okay, he captured it with a six. Oh, of course, that will still be our card. Of course, because we captured it. 
<laughs> and now I can't, there's, I can't capture either of these. Uh, play this here, we can capture that, but he will be captured. But at least neither of those cards can capture either of those. So that's actually fairly safe. And they can't capture two of the ones above. Like what we don't want here is for them to kick off a combo that just turns a load of our cards. Uh, that will be his card below us. We'll have a four on the top. He'll be able to capture it with that, but he will only capture the one, and so we will win. Murky Waters, this unknown creature of steel grey did not appear in your studies. It inspected you with the curiosity of a gnome. It stretched out its insectoid hand at an old, eerie box sinking slowly in the swamp waters. Check for treasure, a magic potion, or search the swamp. Uh, last time that gave us money. Take a potion. Can't take a potion. Okay. Maybe because... Uh, are we... Like, maybe we can only have one potion or something? I don't know. Uh, we did find a forge, which is nice. So... Numbers add to numbers. Symbols replace symbols. We could drop it on something like the pig bat. Or the dark canid. Benefit from it as well. I guess the pig bat benefits more. Yeah. Onwards. Just open defensively. We could capture that, the magic from that side or something else below. If we go below, we're safe. two sword symbols. What have we got here? I will add sword to our left. and do the same thing again, put something here, bait him into attacking it. I don't know. God, just do something. 
Okay, can I take two of these cards? I can take him with basically anything. Four, a five, a six. We'll capture all three of those. And that will take every card on the board. No, it won't. Okay. Maybe because the first set of cards that were captured only triggered the capture of one more. Maybe it only chains again if that triggers the capture of two more. Still not bad. I uh, got a two there. So we could... Oh, well, with this, we'll capture both of these. It will capture the one to the left, but that's fine. However, he can capture both of these with this, which is horrendous. Uh, we need to go here now to stop him doing that. It's the best thing to do. symbol. Well, no, we can still do this to capture two. Does that, that should trigger a chain reaction. Oh, bugger. I missed that. But we got a three and a four here, uh, which this guy could handle. But anything will be able to defeat his magic. So either of these could defeat his magic on the bottom. Uh, but we won't recapture that anyway, so if that's okay. win yep okay beach food score in a crustaceans that gather the magical properties trapped in the sand and convert the energy into food inside their claws concentrated magic essence can be extracted from the meat all champions need to eat cook it for gold uh, keep the essence for a discount upgrade sure So many symbols now. And I guess actually this would help with him. How much money have we got? A lot. Put you on there. Uh, the three and the two. Yeah, we could put you on there. Make our toad stronger. And this I don't know about. Placing with a magic's rank. So I'm gonna leave that and I'll continue onwards. Merchants! Okay. Wow. Can't afford it. 798 gold. Uh. card might we want to get rid of. Do they have an archer for sale? Yes, but we can't afford it. Dragon, no, we can't afford that either. Thermo crab. I don't think any of these are better than what we've got, really. 
At least none of the ones we can afford are better than the ones we've got. So I'm going to politely decline. And we are on to the boss. Okay, the beginning of the boss turn, reduce all numbers on all player cards in play by one. That's rough. Jeez, okay. Uh, okay, we need to remember to use these. The cards are not necessarily strong per se, but yeah, with decay, that kind of sucks. Okay, so... Well, again, maybe we start with this because if we play this in the corner here, it doesn't matter if this number decays. I'm gonna do that. Is it all of... All numbers on all player cards. Wait, does that include his? Is he a player as well? We play here and make ourselves easy to capture on the right. He may go there, which may set us up for a double capture. So there's no real benefit to chaining at this stage in the game, I guess. I don't know. Go there. Captured from the left. Okay. Fine. Uh, no. Okay, so the numbers on his cards are not going down. So I guess what that means is we want to try to recapture late in the game. So put out all of our weak stuff, maybe. God, I don't know. Hmm. Save this to capture other stuff later. Put him there. Let's put you there. Let's not try to agonize over this. Uh, okay, so we could certainly capture these two with this. But we could capture them with this as well. But then there's no chain because this is weaker than this and this is weaker than this. But we have a six on the right and an eight on the bottom. Do it. Oh, we did capture that. Why did it capture that? him we know we're not setting anything bad up because we're safe there. So that cuts both ways. Any way to get this back is through a chain with that. Means we should put something out here that he can capture. should put something out here that you can only capture from the right. Mm. Do that, but I don't want to use that. Put 
this here. Uh, but then we're wasting the archer. Maybe it doesn't matter. But then we were able to capture it back. He'll cap put something there to capture it. Although... If he does... Actually, we're going to do that. And then hopefully, if he goes there, we can go here. With... Uh, even something like that. Then you go there, and is that good enough? Yes it is. Blue wins. Seafood dinner, the shore of the isle was a beauty and it juxtaposed the hopes of becoming a legend and the truth of imminent death. The Hermitus, or sea crabs, went about their business searching for plankton. Their meat makes for a fine meal. Uh, I guess that's not the end then. Let's take some gold. Give me a short gold. That was Act 1. It is on to Act 2.